hello guys welcome back so in the previous video uh, we have basically uh, understand the client server flutter and XAMPP server architecture that is how our flutter application will communicate with the uh, XAMPP server that is with our MySQL database and we have created uh, our uh, API directory which is basically our API cloud store so now in this video what we will be doing is basically inside our directory which is API cloud store we are going to uh, implement the connection that is we are going to establish a connection with the server uh, using PHP backend language so for that purpose uh, I'm going to open up the Visual Studio code and now in our Visual Studio code first I will uh, simply go back this one okay API close store just drag and drop this folder which is API close store in here in the Visual Studio code here okay drag and drop that here just like this so basically it will automatically uh, make a reference to over this folder now what we need to do is that is inside our this folder which is API close store that is this folder okay it is now opened in our Visual Studio code me just now if you hover your mouse here on this name then you will see these following icons as you can see here this icon is for creating a new file so click on this icon and let's create our first dot PHP file where basically we will uh, write a code for a connection with the MySQL database or you can say with our uh, server so let's give it name as connection dot PHP and press enter so our connection.php file is created after pressing enter okay this is our first dot php file now I have already told you that is uh, this PHP language okay or uh, using which we will implement our API service this PHP is basically a server side language or you can say a backend language so whatever file uh, whatever dot PHP files we implement inside the API cloud store that will be responsible for communicating with the XAMPP server that is uh, with our MySQL database so for writing the PHP code first we have to write the PHP starting tag and for that purpose you have to write this angle sign question mark and simply write PHP this is the starting ta tag which represents that whatever now we write after this tag it will be in PHP language so first of all uh, what we need to do is first we will uh, initialize here some parameters for example the server which we will access it is the XAMPP server so it is using localhost we are accessing so we can say localhost okay our server is localhost local server XAMPP local server so let's assign this to a variable and in PHP language uh, when you uh, define or initialize a variable then before variable you have to write uh, this dollar sign okay this dollar basically represent variable name that is for example you first write this dollar sign and then you write here some variable name let's say a so a is now a variable to which we assign this localhost let's give this variable a proper name which is basically server so to the server host variable we assign this localhost then after it let's initialize another variable and it will be user and to user variable we will assign the user which is basically root then password of our server or you can say our SQL database so we will uh, first initialize a variable which will be by the name password and to this password a variable we will assign the password since we have no password for using the XAMPP server or you can say the MySQL database so that's why we just give it an empty string like this then here we have to specify our database that is our database name so let's uh, initialize a variable by the name database database name inside this double quotes 
so you already know that our database name is clothes underscore app this is our database name clothes underscore app so let's just write that here clothes underscore app then after it we have to uh, basically you can say write a code which will basically check that is if the connection is established okay so for that purpose we write new mysqli and inside the mysqli parenthesis first we have to pass the server which is localhost so which is inside the variable server host so let's just pass the first one which is server host and then comes the uh, user user is our root user so user comma then comes the password which is inside the password variable and then comes the database name which is inside the database variable just like this okay and let's assign the response to a variable which will be connect now so we assign this to our connect now variable and make sure to save this by simply clicking here on this save all okay file and save all so this is how we uh, establish a connection with our XAM server MySQL or you can say with our MySQL database using the localhost server which is the XAM server.